Hello Capricorn, welcome to your timeless crystal ball reading. <clears throat> we have already cleared the air, so let us go straight to the crystal balls crying or divination. I see a person smiling and um, yeah, the person is smiling. This person seems to be accompanied by somebody else. There are two of them and uh, one of them was smiling. Uh, they seem to be seated and uh, there is something white in front of them. I don't know if it is a white table or something. Spirit, could you give us some more details regarding these two people with the one person smiling and there's this something round in front of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> they seem to be in front of a black table and maybe one of those round things that we saw are saucers. No. So it seems to do, it could be that these two people are eating. Yeah, and one is happy. They, they seem to be in front of a square table and uh, there are two plates. Okay. So maybe these two people are having a uh, friendly meal together yeah. I don't know the, the, the word uh, the word or the phrase come uh, the phrase getting to know each other suddenly came to me could it be that these people are uh, sort of in the process of acquainting getting acquainted with each other hmm and they are sharing a meal together. Okay. It makes me think now. <clears throat> it's somebody that <clears throat> maybe one of, uh, for you who are watching, maybe it's somebody that you just met recently and uh, you're about to have a meal with them or you're already having a meal with them or you already had a meal with them. And it was a good experience and uh, yeah. It seems like there is a yeah, a relationship right now. Um, I see a hand cradling a face close to the chest of somebody. Hmm. Yeah, as if this somebody is embracing somebody and comforting this someone. Uh, it's as if the head of this person is against the chest of the other and the other is embracing this person and uh, sort of comfort, comforting this person. Hmm. Interesting, yeah. It's a, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah. It, it seems that the, the, the person who is being hugged also feels comforted. And there is, makes me feel that there is tenderness with this person who is embracing the other one and the other one felt, felt comfort uh, find comfort in the arms of this person who is holding her, him or her well could this be related to these two people who were eating together earlier and were happy 
could it be a friendship that is uh, starting to bloom a friendship that is giving each other comfort it seems that they are uh, getting very close to quite fast uh, well this is a general reading Capricorn so take what resonates with you okay it could be that for some of you you just met recently somebody and you got to know them uh, while eating together in a certain meal sort of like a restaurant and uh, it can be that for some of you it grew very fast to the point where you became tender with each other and you sort of become a sense of comfort for each other you find joy being together and somehow uh, you comfort each other when you are together it's easy for you to express your emotions to each other you easily it was easy for you to express each other by hugging each other and now uh, yeah yeah it seems that it's a a mutual relationship and it's kind of beneficial for both of you I mean it one comforts another and uh, the another finds comfort in in the other okay something like that interesting can we still see anything more I mean uh, is there any other thing other message that you need us to see universe or oh, spirit I cannot find anything anymore I guess that's it uh, so that's it for now Capricorn for our crystal ball reading we will now go to the second part which is clarification through the use of a tarot deck okay so let us now go to part two okay Capricorn let us now go to the second part of our crystal ball reading which is a clarification of what we just saw okay so uh, the first incident we saw is that uh, there are two people who are enjoying having a meal together. One is smiling and uh, it was followed by another incident where uh, this it seems that it's the same couple. Uh, they are hugging each other. One is being comforted and the other is embracing embracing this one close to his chest or her chest. And then the, uh, the other one that is being embraced seems to be comforted. While the other one who is embracing seems to try to, he seems to be trying to comfort the one that is being hugged. Okay, so now we will try to see. Okay, uh, we will try to see what is the uh, some clarification with this one. Okay, so uh, it I, I somehow suspect that one of these persons is you, Capricorn. So uh, we will try to see what you felt uh, at that time of meeting, and then what he or she felt at the time of the meeting and uh, what transpired between the two of you okay <laughs> so this is what transpired between the two of you uh, you felt like uh, both of you felt like young children uh, being set out on a, a new adventure setting out on a new adventure we have here uh, the sun so it's like a child here no a child who is this sense of discovery sense of of adventure it's as if that when you met each other somehow you felt a sense of something is new something uh, you felt like a child again it's, you know you felt felt giddy both of you might have felt giddy like children no? and it's as if both of you are setting off in a new adventure together and it seems that you felt the sun is shining in your lives okay uh, you are like uh, sunflowers gazing upon the presence of the divine you felt so lucky it's as if meeting each other is a blessing for both of you. Well, this is a nice start. And uh, let us see, this is you. And somehow uh, Capricorn, uh, 
Yes, it seems that when you saw her or saw him or her, you know, it uh, you felt like you are life is teaching you a new lesson, and at the same time, yeah, uh, there is a certain uh, maybe some of you felt the. You know what I'm starting to feel right now? It's like wedding bells ringing. <laughs> Somehow, when you felt this, when you met this person, no, yeah, you did not only feel like. A, a, a new adventure is opening up to you but maybe the thought of a possibility of a future with this person came to your mind here we see the hierophant no the hierophant can be related to marriage so maybe the thought of marriage came to you and maybe you are re it made you review your life and uh, yes your life has been good i mean you were happy even before you met this person but it seems that now you've met this person and you look back to your life, you realize that something is missing in your life. Okay, oh, this is very romantic. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, so it seems that after you've met this person, whether it is a he or a she, it seems that you made you to have a life review and then you realize that something is missing in your life. Even if your life is prosperous, everything is going well in your life, you felt that something is missing in your life. Wow. And yeah, somehow you you are considering the possibility of a lifelong commitment. Okay, how about this person? Okay, it seems that this person has also been like you, who has been very successful. It seems that this person also is uh, well-known. Somebody who is, uh, uh, people look up to this person as somebody who is very successful. You know? So this person could be in the limelight he or she could be in the limelight uh, some of them may be a star for their achievements people recognize their achievement and they seem to be known well known well it can be local it can be international we don't know but they seem to be people seem to uh, notice them and they seem to their achievements somehow put them into they are quite uh, seem to be popular and it seems that uh, they have just finish uh, a painful experience in life uh, recently they had a painful experience in life uh, it can be that uh, yeah you see here a person we have here the uh, the, the ten of swords and uh, it's as if here we see a person who's stabbed in the back several times ten times actually so it can be somebody who is popular but at the same time was not very happy maybe people are uh, yeah talking in their back maybe people are jealous and uh, they're making this person's life difficult no it's not easy for this person this person is popular but at the same time uh, it's a difficult life and somehow when they this person met you they see a sun rising something new uh, something like uh, for example uh, they are seeing that the sun is rising there is new hope it's like a new chapter is opening it's as if the painful chapter that they've had in the recent past is now closing and a new sunrise a new sun is rising and yes yes the sun has risen here and both of you are giddy so it seems that this person is very popular but at the same time the person's life was not easy it was difficult in the past but it seems that after they met you it seems that this difficult part of their life is closing and a new sunrise is beginning in their life wow this is interesting now uh can we have further clarification uh something about uh, the second part where we saw uh, a couple hugging each other and finding comfort in each other's arms okay uh -huh. let's see okay so this is you okay uh -huh. Okay, this is what is happening between the two of you. Okay. Oh, oh see, I, I accidentally took two. Let us see. Okay. So, it seems that uh, as your relationship moved forward, you are receiving graces from the universe. Uh, and uh, it makes me think that you are communicating very often with each other. It seems that you've after you've met each other, the sun was, was blooming. You know, uh, the presence of the sun means that uh, somehow makes me feel that this relationship is blessed by the divine and yes the divine is showering both of you graces but at the same time i'm thinking that after you've met each other you started communicating more often with each other so you are sending communications back and forth i don't know maybe you talk you send messages 
text messages or short messages with each other or maybe you communicate by uh, by zoom or whatever uh, by uh, maybe uh, facebook whatever it is whatever it is it seems that your communication seems to be very frequent recently okay you've been communicating uh, much about each other and it seems that yes for you also a chapter has been closing you know a chapter closed you know uh whatever it is that you had in the past you seem to be closing it and you are facing this new chapter like a child with the innocence of the child with the sense of wonder of a child with the sense of hope of a child now it seems that it's getting a little bit clearer right now it seems that in the recent past you have been broken heartbroken uh, it, yeah here we can see here now a person whose heart is who's in sorrow and the heart is broken so it seems that uh, yeah you might be very successful when it comes to the career but maybe uh, the reason why you are successful in the career is because you are trying to heal also from a broken heart maybe you are concentrating your attention or putting your attention into your career because at this present time you are mending from a broken heart but a new, you see that a chapter is closing maybe this is the reason why this person was holding you in in his or her arms maybe you opened up to them that you just came from a painful relationship and uh, somehow this person is trying to comfort you at the same time also this could be uh, something that is give and take there are times also when this person would recall the pain that they had in the recent past just as you would also sometimes recall the pain in your recent past and somehow both of you try to comfort each other every once in a while so yeah maybe that's why there's this picture of hugging no uh, every once in a while if you are in pain this person hugs you and whenever this person is in pain you hug the person but this person is coming to you with great speed and this person is on fire so whoever this person is this person is very passionate and he's this person is rushing towards you it means that yeah this person is really very communicative very expressive and this person is on fire and maybe this person is setting your life on fire wow but at the same time this person is a very generous soul this person is you see here we have here uh, the sixth of pentacles we have we have here the knight of the knight of wands no and this person is on fire but at the same time this person is very passionate but at the same time this person is also very generous uh, here we see a person uh, sharing her riches to the poor so this is a person who is generous uh, she is very popular but at the same time she helps those who are in need and also at the same time we have here the nine of wands she is a bit guarded or he is a bit guarded maybe it's because of the past experience where they felt stabbed no the 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 sword spinned this person down and this person cannot move no it might have caused this person a lot of pain i think this person suffered more pain than you did because here you have three swords no here the person had 10 swords no so it's just but natural for this person to be on guard uh, this person has their defenses up and so maybe this is one thing that both of you will need to work on no? because this person will not easily trust other people but you seem to work some magic on this person because this person is coming to you on fire if this person had been on guard for in the past no uh, maybe right now this person is considering but at the same time there is this hesitancy this person is on fire for you but at the same time this person is guarded you know? so uh, yeah there is a certain willing uh, there is a certain uh, hoping to reach out to you but at the same time this person is guarded so i think this energy plays back and forth there will be times when they are passionate and there will be times when they are cold and guarded and uh, a little uh, a little um, you know uh, uh, a little wary okay wary or uh, uh, a little bit they look at you with with a grain of salt no so they're like that there's a a certain part of them that they could they couldn't completely trust 100 percent. okay that's it no but this person is a very generous soul okay so this is beautiful now what will happen in the near future let us see what will happen in the near future 
So it seems that both of you are comforting each other. Both of you were hurt in the recent past. And uh, you see a chapter closing and uh, both of you are healing. Uh, let's see what will happen. So you will be moving forward together. Yeah, it's possible that you will be building a family together. Or at least you will be moving forward as a couple. You see here uh, a chariot, no? For me, a chariot can symbolize a family. This possibility that this possibility that you saw when you saw this person might come true in the near future. No, you will, at least if you will not get married, at least you will be moving forward as a couple, and both of you together will find prosperity, and uh, you feel like a king. Both of you will have this certain confidence, and uh, I see a lot of herbage around you, so it seems that yeah, your relationship will flourish in the near future. Now, what will happen to you in the near future? Oh, you will be a knight of swords, no? You will be a knight of swords, uh, somebody who is like a knight of shining armor. You will, f it makes me feel that you will be the knight in shining armor of this person, no? if she's a woman. And, or you will be a princess in shining armor if this is a man. No, you will be always there to, you will always make them feel safe. It's as if you are there to defend them always. Maybe for those people who, talk negatively against them, him or her, you will be a person who will speak in their behalf and will be defending them. And yes, uh, you will be somebody who will, yeah, the, we have here the lover, okay. So I think you will both will truly fall in love and you will feel blessed by the divine. Um, you will become, you feel that she's like the yin in your life and you are the yang in her life or it can be you are the yang you are the yin in his life and you are and he is the yang in your life so it's it's, it's you will be complimenting each other uh yeah it's uh, going to be a beautiful loving relationship on her part what will happen to her in the near future okay yeah she will be removing all these swords that have hurt her so she will be closing the chapter in her recent past no and she will succeed she will succeed and uh, she's taking out all the swords so whatever defenses that she has she will learn to trust more she will be uh, she will be removing those guards that she had in the past she will yeah allow herself to be disarmed uh, somehow you she will feel that with you uh, her defenses goes down she's defenseless before you i mean uh, there's something about you that makes her feel defenseless as if uh, she she cannot keep up this defense this guard against you uh, she seems to be letting go of what defenses she still have and uh, yes there is the uh, the emperor you make this person feel like the emperor the, you make this person feel that finally she is in charge of her life i feel that here Yes, they have the accolade of the people, but uh, she doesn't feel secure. She feels that people are stabbing her in the back. She, f Her life was miserable, but this time she seems to be more peaceful. She seems to be more in command of her life. She's like the empress in her life, or he is like the emperor in his life. If this is a male, yes, he's popular, but he's not happy. It's as if he's not in control. But with you in his or her life, they feel like an emperor or an empress in their life and there is a certain peace and they are able to yeah have this certain security and certain boundary you were able i think they with you you are able to disarm them they continue to have healthy healthy boundaries good defenses they they are able to protect themselves from these people who are making their life miserable in the past they are a person now who is stronger and able to say no able to defend themselves but at the same time when it is in relationship to you you always disarm them uh, they could be firm and strong before others but with you uh, their defenses fall down and uh, yeah they fall in love with you so it seems that uh, the relationship has a, a lot of beautiful possibilities for both of you it will promote healing at the same time it will make you grow as persons and your relationship seems to be flourishing and uh, there's a possibility that in the near future you might consider walking forward as a couple and maybe create a family together here it's not very clear but you 
I, when I see the chariot, it makes at least it makes me feel that you are moving forward as a couple already. Whether it will become a family in the future, uh, we will see. It depends on how things will go because these are just possible future. You can always open up to these possibilities or you can also say no. So there's always that freedom of choice. So, so Spirit, what do you advise for this couple, uh, Capricorn? Do you advise Capricorn with regards to this new budding relationship? Okay, Karma. You may be involved in a situation that requires justice and fairness. Okay, so both of you had been hurt in the past. So it seems that, yeah, both of you are expecting that this new relationship, uh, in this new relationship, you would be treating each other fairly. If you have been treated unfairly in the past, it seems that both of you expect that both of you will treat each other fairly, which is a good thing. It means that you will treat the other person fairly and then the other person will treat you fairly also and both of you will expect each other to treat each other fairly. Okay, so something like that. Auric field. It is time to call in energy protection to shield, clear, and strengthen your aura. So yes, both of you are undergoing healing. If in the past both of you have been vulnerable, which had caused both of you pain, it seems that together you will be a team and that you will be able to strengthen your defenses together. Okay, can we have some more clarification, please? Angel numbers. Pay attention to the signs your angels are trying to deliver uh, to the signs your angels are trying to deliver a message so this time you are receiving a lot of downloads from the universe so be open to the char to to the messages from the spirit world so uh, be, be aware of repeating numbers and try to get the meaning of these repeating numbers connection you are very connected to the heavenly realms so somehow this relationship really is some some are being blessed by by the divine and uh you need to be more aware of the touches of the divine in your, especially with regards to your relationship. Nourishment. You are being asked to take time out for self-care. Okay. After all those things that both of you have experienced, uh, it's as if that both of you need to have time for yourselves. No. At the same time, yes, spend time together. I think uh, it's a good thing. You know, when you would spend some time eating meals together, spend some time you know, comforting each other. Uh, I think it's. Uh, you need to have more time being alone also at the same time also spending time together far from the magic crowds something like that no? but at the same time aside from just being together you also need some quiet time they separate from each other i think it's a healthy thing also uh, you cannot be always together to the point that you, you you need to see the bird's eye point of view of the situation because this is a new relationship so you need also some time apart from each other so that you can uh, go through this journey with your eyes open Okay, recognition. Someone deserves to be recognized for all that they do. Okay, yeah. Yeah, somebody, this person seems, uh, they, he, some people do not recognize it, making his, the, this person's life difficult, you know. So someone deserves to be recognized for all that they do. I think both of you needs to be recognized because both of you are successful, actually, even you. Maybe sometimes, maybe you feel uneasy because this person seems to be popular. So maybe when you are before this person, you feel uh, some of you might feel a little bit insecure. You shouldn't be. Someone deserves to be recognized for all that they are. And I think this person is trying to tell you, no, you are valuable. You are some, because this person sees you as somebody valuable. You are the only one who is giving them comfort in a world where they felt hurt oftentimes so you are valuable especially to this person so you need also maybe some of you do not have this self-confidence you need to uh yeah affirm yourself even a little bit more okay now um so universe if if they will respond to this one i mean uh, spending more time also alone to reflect on what this new gift you have given them and also being open to your touches and at the same time uh, trying to bring fairness to each other and maybe trying to fight for each other so that they will be treated with justice and then uh, to be recognized also if they would respond to this one what will they expect in the near future okay let us see let's put four cards hopefully one 
two, okay, we have here the Queen of Swords, we have here the Three of Wands, and then we have here uh, the Seven of Cups, and then the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this seems to be a bright future for both of you. So it seems that uh, if you would respond to this one, you would continue evolving, and then you will be uh, the Queen of your lives, no? The Emperor, uh, the the Queen of Swords. You will both demand justice, but at the same time, there's a certain generosity towards those who are being oppressed. So you will be standing, you will be fighting for your own right. At the same time, you also have a tender heart for those who are being oppressed. And you will be opening a new chapter in your life. Uh, it seems you're already beginning. You're already beginning. This relationship is like a beginning and it is a budding relationship. And uh, yes, you will be looking back in your past late uh, after that. You will be looking back in your past and you will be able to see the contrast of what is happening now and what is in the past. It's as if you see already the fruits of this beginning relationship and you will look back in the past and uh, maybe there will not be any more much pain. Because what is before you are a lot of cups. Just be careful with the cups that you're going to choose. So it seems that... Uh, you will have a bright future. You will be receiving a lot of of, of uh, inspiration in the near future. But some choices are good, some choices are bad. Some will be temptations, some will be burdens in the future, but some will be also good things. So discern well so that you will be able to make the right choice. But in the end, I think you will be able to make the right choice because you will be stable. Somebody who will be stable and productive maybe both of you yeah as a couple you will be stable and productive but at the same time both of you will develop your intuitive life you will have a deeper inner life uh, as symbolized by this falcon with eyes covered you know? the falcon with this eyes covered is able to see more interiorly when we close our eyes we see more interiorly so it seems that yeah like a falcon also you will have a bird's eye view of your life you will look back into your life and then you will realize the things that are no longer serving you at this present time and i think because of being like a falcon you will see what is really true what is really truly happening then i think you will be able to make good choices in the near future okay let us end this with one more card one more oracle card please give us one more message oh two messages came okay so two cards came out so let us see wishful thinking you are learning how to manifest the life that you desire. Okay. So it can be that this relationship is the result of your manifestation. Maybe you have been asking the universe for such a change. So yeah. And you will be able to manifest even more. Don't stop dreaming. The more you dream, the more you manifest them into reality. Authentic self-expression. Be true to who you really are. And your life will change in the most amazing ways okay you hear that drink okay that sound it's like a reassurance okay so don't be afraid to be yourself because it is your authentic self that attracted this person into your life they you know it makes me think of this song i i just saw it recently early today true colors this person who came in your who just arrived in your life or will arrive in your life in the near future sees your true color uh, i see your true color shining through so don't be afraid to be who you truly are allow your true colors to shine be true to who you really are and your life will change in the most amazing way i feel tempted to get one more card it seems that there's another one for us soulmate okay the relationship is a match made in heaven okay so for some of you you finally found your soulmate Okay, so whoever this person is, it could be your soulmate. Okay. Oh, I knew there is another message from from this last card. Okay, so, well, Capricorn, this is a nice one. It makes me tingle all over. Uh, this is a nice reading for you, Capricorn. Now, this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you. I hope this has been fruitful for you. Until next time, have a great day.